One of the most frequently asked questions in the role forming industry is the number of passes required to form a section. To answer is not easy. The required number of passes is influenced by many factors including competitive pricing. A standard method of calculating the optimum number of passes required does not exist. Most designers' results are based on experience. Important factors influencing the number of passes. Material thickness. 2. Continuity of the strip. Holes and notches. Straight or free flow. One, material thickness. The thickness of the product is an influence, but the effect is controversial. Many designers believe that thicker products require more passes. This is valid only if the mill is not strong enough to accomplish the required forming at each pass. If the mill is strong enough, which it should be in the majority of cases, then the thicker the material, the fewer passes are required. This effect can be explained by the fact that the thickness does not limit elongation, but thicker material will less likely be wavy when compressed in the longitudinal direction. This effect is confirmed by many cases where narrow sections or wide panels can be satisfactorily formed from different thicknesses of materials down to a limit. Material thinner than this limit requires more passes for good forming, otherwise, the product will be wavy or will have other problems. Continuity of the strip. Continuous forming provides a smoother flow of the material from pass to pass. The flow is different when the part is pre-cut. The leading edge of the strip will slightly spring back after leaving the forming pass and will travel practically in a straight line until the front end hits the lead-in flange of the next pass off. Rolls. Abrupt forming, therefore, takes place on entry to the next pass. The rest of the pre-cut strip is formed as a continuous section, but a similar jump happens every time the front end of the strip contacts the next forming pass. Similarly, there will be a difference in the flow when the tail end of the strip exits from the passes. To minimize abrupt forming, pre-cut strips are usually roll formed with two or three more passes than the same section formed from a continuous strip. The front and tail ends of pre-cut sections frequently have more flare than the same section formed from continuous strip cut to length after forming. Applying a straightener or curving unit after forming pre-cut strips is either not practical or quite complicated. Holes and Notches Notches at the edge of the strip have a similar effect on forming as pre-cutting. The deeper the notch, the more similar the effect is to pre-cutting holes punched in the web have little influence on the number of passes. However, holes punched in the elements which are under tension during forming can greatly influence the required number of passes. In extreme cases, products with large cutouts close to the elements exposed to the highest strain require 30, 50, or 80% more passes to be formed than the same section without holes. The insufficient number of passes will distort the shape of the holes.
straight or free flow, pass line. Almost all role designers experience, as well as role design software, are based on forming sections in a role forming mill which has all the bottom shafts in the straight line. A straight pass line is not necessary ideal for role forming. If roles are designed to suit the optimum material flow where the pass line is not a straight line, then the number of passes can be reduced compared with the passes used with the present methods. We hope this movie was useful for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos.